Okay, this is a uh, Ramatra versus Ramatra game, uh, played by me. This is Masters 2, almost Masters 1. I got a rank update and I won, I think, like 5 3 or something, so I assume Masters uh, 1 is coming up pretty soon. So, pretty much everybody in this game is Masters. There's an occasional diamond in here, and I think it's my Anna, I think it's Diamond, something like that. But what is really interesting about this game is number one, I would say this is the best game of Ramatra that I have played yet so far in my career. Granted, this is like, you know, I don't know how many hours I have in Ramatra, I don't know, 10 ish. So it's not like I have a ton of hours, but like this game felt so good to me. And one of the reasons it felt so good was not because I was dominant throughout it, but because we got absolutely steamrolled on offense. <laughs> like we almost did not capture first point and did not capture second. And, you know, Obviously, it's a team thing, but I would just highlight my DPS right now, and it's not their, their name isn't important. It's not it's not I'm not trying to shame a specific person, but one of my DPS gets only three kills in the entire game. They get zero kills, kills by his final blows, zero kills on offense, and I think they had like seven deaths. I, I watched the entire game from their perspective to try to understand what the heck was going on. Zero kills on offense, and they only get three kills on defense, all of which were in one fight. <laughs> So in a 15 minute long game, they got three kills in one fight and did nothing else <laughs> to give you perspective as to like how hard this game was. And luckily, um, I don't know why my voice was cracked here. Luckily, uh, the other DPS was really, really good and got lots of kills in neutral. And I suspect that probably that DPS and uh, maybe like my Anna, like one of the supports was probably like diamondish, like below all the other masters in the game because it, it definitely felt that way. So why is this game particularly interesting? Again, not only did I win, but like barely won, A, but B, won in a Ramatra versus Ramatra lineup where I felt like the other team was much stronger than us overall, but the my Hanzo and myself carried this game, especially in the final minute, where I think some crazy things are gonna happen. So I'm gonna play, again, the first half is not gonna be super exciting, but I think if you're interested in Ramatra versus Ramatra gameplay, that's gonna be that's gonna be still something to, to highlight, because I think there's some things, notable things to play out there. It's the second half, and I'll give a timestamp, which will I'll talk about in more depth to try to understand like why I think that part is so relevant at high, high levels to to mastery of the game when you're playing especially tank and DPS. Specifically, how to continually force staggers to buy yourself time. And that both the Hanzo and myself were like 100% aligned in trying to do that, which killed so much time off the clock when they didn't have to push the cart very far. Okay, let's watch. I'm out the gate. I eat a nade, eat Vortex, it's fine. So one thing I mentioned before when Macho versus Macho, try to throw your shield up second. So if you throw your shield up second, then uh, you have the opportunity to blast them down without when they have no shield cover, which might force Nemesis, and they force Nemesis, then you can Vortex them and kite it, and then use your own Nemesis, and then you'll have a massive advantage. So that's my perspective. I try to stay, again, play the inside corner. Um, once I see the Cassidy comes out, I need to like kind of give myself a little more space to strafe around. Not a position I want to be in. Eventually I take him damage, I'm like, oh yeah, I have to put their shield. Their shield's about the end, that's fine. Ramatra does a good job dodging over here. I notice already that something weird is going on. Because the shield, our shield's been up for a while, and the Ramatra's been running around for a while, and nobody is taking damage. <laughs> Okay, which is very, very odd because I obviously have two DPS on my team. I have two supports. Why is literally no one taking any damage? Well, one of them is, is a Hanzo on my team, obviously, um, who is, you know, a sniper, and the other is a Widow. So obviously both of them are going for headshots or whatever, and they're just not hitting shots. And then my Kiriko is trying to keep me up here. My Anna is, like, busy healing the back line because they take, a, like, a big shot or something in the back. So I'm kind of up here. I start taking damage. My Anna's beginning to heal me again. Um, just And then I, and I, I just eat a headshot here and die. Uh, obviously not what I want. I could have popped Nemesis here to survive. I did not expect to eat this headshot. Uh, he just fires it. I, I couldn't even see him on my screen. Like you see he fires like right over the top, so he barely sees my head. So kills me. Unfortunate. Um, it was kind of weird because again, I just don't expect to die in this situation. I'm, I should be double pocketed here. I have two snipers. So it's not like I would expect a lot of like them to need a lot of healing. <laughs> so I'm... Yeah, I died pretty fast there though. Yeah, she misses that shot, and then it just kind of, kind of goes downhill from there. I just want to check my Kiriko's perspective, right? She heals. She looks. Uh, see, she tries to heal there where she shouldn't have. But either way, I mean, I definitely could have played that a little better and played a little more passively, but it's also an open road, so there's only so much space that I have. <laughs> All right, coming out again. I never just get back to the fight. I stopped shooting a shield because, like, why? What kind of bad habit I have. Good vortex right here, right? Really juicy vortex. It traps these two. You see the Anna, after getting trapped by this, decides not to walk out, which is a good call because I would have blasted her with staff. So this is an example of how to use Vortex to get picks. 
The Anna is grossly out of position right now. There's no reason the Anna should ever be in this room. And I can't kill her myself right now because I have to hold back the other two. I'm just hoping my DPS will be able to step up and then kill this Anna. All right? Or I'll be able to catch her myself pretty soon uh, with Nemesis 1. I can't chase her right now because I don't have Nemesis. But after Nemesis is ready, I want to chase her down. All right? See, I'm looking for her. I pop it. Bam. Two. I missed that one. All right? She's doing a good job. I hit, hit that one. She's doing a good job just like w wiggling around the pole to prevent me from getting a clean look at her. Uh, I probably could have attacked a little more here. I was like super low. I got healed by grenade really fast. All game long, like I wish I would use voice. I don't wish I'd use voice because I don't want to use voice. But I really wish if I could say something, I would tell the Anna to stop throwing grenades at me because if she grenades this, we win the fight. She constantly throughout this whole game nades like me, even though I didn't really need it. Like I was at 300 health and blocking, I was totally fine. She could have just chucked the nade at the enemy team and then that would have won the fight. Right? Again, another vortex that's absolutely critical. The Anna wants to back up here. She realizes she can't, so she walks forward. This should be a kill. There's no reason this Anna should be able to get away right now. Again, teammates miss. It happens. All right, block on purple. I'm really pulling back right now. Again, their Anna does a great job nading me all game long. It's so frustrating. But it's good practice, right, to, to play against good, good Annas. Like, their, their Anna played really, really well. I end up dying here. You know, it's what it is. As a reminder, one of my DPS gets zero kills in this entire first half. <laughs> right? So, like, there's a lot of opportunities that I'm creating where people are stuck out of position, and, like, one of the DPS is not able to capitalize at all. Alright, so pop Nemesis, try to get a little space here. Right? Again, I'm trying to vortex him out of position. I, I can't chase the other team. I think that one thing something would be like, oh, when's the time to chase the other team? This is way too far to run over to a team to try to fight them. Just far too far. I know they're down one player, but... Like, I, I know that we're also down one, right, coming out of spawn, and I know that we don't have really great damage output, so I can't chase and expect the Ramatra will be able to do anything. I can't do anything about the Ramatra, so I just hide over here, right? I throw Shadow Shield just in case it becomes useful. I don't feel like I really need it because I'm getting the car. I should be fine. Yep, I should be fine. Just crouch right here. I get nanoed, and this is, I was so confused, right? I'm like totally fine here, and all of a sudden I get nanoed, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I get slept right away by this Anna coming to me. And then I think the art, the Anna was spamming sorry in chat or uh, the voice line. So I get nanoed, but like, what the heck am I gonna do with this? I could pop ulti or nemesis, but like, obviously, I, they're way too far away from me to do anything. I think you have to recognize like, what is the distance you can cover and do something as Ramatra? This is way too far to do anything. Like, they're gonna they're not gonna stand still while you come at them, right? So if you come at them, they'll keep backing up, which further increases the distance that you have to run. So again, I'm just trying to move the cart right now. That was a complete waste of a nano. If at any time I anti grenade anybody, I would kill them. I, I think it actually happens like once this game, I just kill everybody. <laughs> Alright, so I see that they've come forward, right? I want to apply additional pressure. I see that they we killed one, which is why I want to push the temple right now. So I want to go and I want to kill this um, this this Ramatra. Well, I'm not going to get a kill, but just force pressure. Because it should be a 4 and... well, it should be 5 and 5, but it's 5 and 4. But we lose Kiriko here, so it's 4 and 4. Regardless, I want to just start the pressure. Oh, sorry. Gets one kill. One kill on offense. I, I missed this one when I was skipping through. So one kill on offense. Two, right, just punching, applying pressure. Again, the only person I can hit is the Ramatra, so I'll hit the Ramatra. I get low enough at this point that I have to block, right? I vortex him off. I chill a little bit. You know, get healed. Healed, right? I start, I do an aggressive shield here because I know I can take this space, right? Ramatra can try to hold here if he wants, that's fine. I have ulti here if I need it. I, I'm intentionally, like, I'm, I'm cutting this very, very close. Because I just I see the Hanzo go back. If the Hanzo was keep, kept shooting, shooting at me, I would have popped Nemesis here early. Or sorry, uh, yeah, Nemesis. Uh, not Nemesis. Ulti in order to get the health back. But I recognize the Hanzo's around the corner. I do not think I can take 114 burst damage. So I take a risk of just uh, going Nemesis first. Because I don't want to pop Ulti first, if at all possible. Super, super important. Right? Punching Ramatra. Right? He forced Nemesis here, but he has to block. I chase after the, the Anna. I do a bad uh, toss. I'll try to bounce it against the ceiling to have it come back down. This is a really tough angle. Cost. She comes out, I get low, right? The moment I get low here, I immediately cancel and go back to uh, pop ulti, right? Because I just, I don't want to die here. And I recognize that we should be able to win this because the Ana is like super overextended and should die, right? I'm going to force the whole team back. Do a good job vortexing me off. Right? For, point capped. So, Point one cap. Actually, I forgot. I thought point one went worse than that. Point one actually went reasonably well. It's point two where things go disastrously wrong. I have three and a half minutes and I barely moved this card. So come in, right? As I mentioned in my uh, Havana guide, is that 
uh, just going left is a really good good start to just start taking uh, high ground and making some space. My, not my job to stay on cart, right? Just want to push the side. I put shield down so I don't take too much shield uh, sand pressure. One of the reasons I do this, I know I don't have supports with me. I know those supports are playing main because I kind of I can, like check out the peripheral vision. I knew I was alone, so any damage I take right now is not going to get healed. You see how I poke down the, the Hanzo really hard because he's not looking at me. He's just like shooting the side. That forces him to immediately give up the angle. So like little things like that create space for your team. Right? And now whoever's on right side can now advance and attack. I pick up Mini, I go back to Cart because I recognize, oh yeah, I heard High Noon, but I knew that he wasn't tracking on me, so I'd be fine. I get low here, so I pop Nemesis, right? I'm just fighting on Cart here. I recognize I'm down one. Shield reset. I put Shield down. Okay, this is a critical moment. So I put Shield down, recognizing that I just saw their Ramatra finish Nemesis form, I think, right? Because we both Nemesis, -ed. yeah, we both Nemesis -ed each other. So again, huge part of Ramatra picks are all about Vortex, right? Sometimes you get it with Nemesis, but I think at higher levels in particular, it's about Nemesising people, or sorry, Vortex people, where they don't want to be, and they can't get out of it, so it scares them, and so they pop abilities, defensive cooldowns, whatever, and then that's when you can capitalize. I shield off the Ramatra, right, step one, making sure that nobody can come down here and, like, heal him, like the Ana, and also I'll be fine. Then I'm going to Vortex him right here, and then I'm going to shoot him in the head. <laughs> Right? You see how much damage I just did? Like That's a lot of damage to take really, really quickly. Again, you can do up to 200 damage a second if your tracking is perfect, which absolutely blows him up. He's already at half health. Right? Plus the 15 from the Vortex. Right? So do a lot of damage here. That scares him. And because he doesn't have Nemesis form, because even Nemesis, he probably would pop Nemesis and just stay alive. But because he doesn't have Nemesis form, and I knew he didn't have Nemesis form, he pops ulti here. So I force out an ulti, at a time that he clearly didn't want to use it, which makes this a bad ulti. Now, what's going to end up happening is that we're going to die here, right? Our whole team is going to wipe, but that's fine because we're right next to our spawn. You know, we commit nothing for this ultimate. I should have melee tent to, to finish, but you see how low he was. Um, I didn't recognize the timing. I also could pop Nemesis to kill him, but it was very close timing. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, even if I killed him, I don't think it would have made it. Eh, maybe it made it some, some difference. I would have been able to get it back here faster. So I come out again. I know I have 60% ult charge uh, advantage. Okay, I knew that. I checked my ult charge percentage as soon as I spawned, or even when I was dead, to know how far ahead I would be. So I know in the next fight, I can pop ulti and he's not going to have it. So I'm trying to get this engage to happen as soon as possible to prevent him to try to farm and catch up. Right? I don't want to be sitting at 100% for a long time. Unfortunately, two people die right away. Right? I just trade attacks here while getting away. Again, why does my Anna grenade me there? Not Absolutely not necessary. Right? Uh, Cassie gets another kill. Right, and then I just get run over and killed. Really unfortunate. I understand that my lead is probably dropping now, so now it's down to fifty percent because of this. Right? Again, dying prevents you from being able to get all charge, obviously, because you can't spam people. I throw that that shield up. I don't know if that was a great shield, but it was an okay one. I expected people to shoot me more when I came in. Attacking the Ramatra, I force shield out. Right? I start punching. I force Nemesis, and he does not want to mess with this. I apologize to my to my Ash. This is the second kill they've gotten. I missed another one. So they got, they got at least two kills on offense. So punch, punch, punch. So now you'll see this feels really good, right? Like, I come in. So we get that pick initially, so I know it's five on four. I push aggressively. Push, 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 push. Right? Everyone's all together. I'm going to whiff a couple here. I didn't expect the Anna. That was good movement by the Anna. I did not expect it to move like that. I put Vortex. It's not a great Vortex. I need to throw it further back, right? It just misses the the uh, Anna here, but I see the sleep, right? And I think I heard uh, their sleep go off. Yes, I heard their sleep go off right now. So I know they don't have sleep, which means, right? right I just gotta get healed, right? I wanna get back to full health. So, because the second I turn this corner, I'm not gonna get any help, okay? This is the last spot I can stand to get any healing. So I want to get healing because I'm planning on popping, popping ulti here. So right here, right, I go, and I pop ulti, and then now just clean up. I can't believe I didn't kill that Mercy. I was upset about that. So I kill three, I go forwards. All right, and now I'm just zoning them, right? Zone, 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 zone. I'm going to look back because I'm hoping the card's closer than it actually is. The card's actually still quite far. All right, quite far. Again, there's no way that they can stop me until the, except for the Ana sleep, which I'm worried about. So. I'm going to zone the Ramatra runs through, nothing I can do to stop that. I pop Nemesis, right? 
I think Anna used sleep on me right there. Yeah, Anna used sleep on me right there to kind of slow me down, which is actually all things that are not that bad. So I zone the rest of the team. I block all the way out. I expected healing right here. I do not get it. So the Anna should have been ready. I mean, it's tough because everyone's kind of low here, but I was expecting healing. Like I, I have like a good chunk of time where I'm falling out of the air and expecting healing, but I don't know that we would have won this anyway if she kept me alive based on the rest of the game situation, yeah. Okay, so obviously not great. Uh, I know that the Ramatra has an ulti advantage against me. I assume Ramatra has ulti right now. Instead of taking left side, because the cards move so far, I don't really need this space anymore. Now I can go directly right and up the stairs. Unfortunately, Anna sees me coming, sleeps me. I get suited up, which is good, right? I hear the Ramatra coming. I shield right away. I vortex, right? I start punching my way through. I really hope that somebody else is going to be able to touch a cart because I really have to get a kill. Again, running to cart means nothing if people aren't dead. Running to cart, like the only chance that we have here is that I have to at a minimum kill this Anna, if not kill this Anna and maybe the Cassidy to, to win this because I see the kill feed. So I'm hoping somebody else will touch cart in this situation because I feel like I'm the only person who has a chance at getting a kill as far as I know. So we're actually going to lose this because nobody touches cart. But this is not a C9 because if I ran to cart, nothing would have changed. Right? I would have had an even lower chance of winning, <laughs> realistically speaking, because from the information that I knew, I was like, look, I know my DPS are dead. Like, I have to get a kill. All right, so playing defense. I still play Ramatra because I still feel good about the Ramatra matchup itself. I don't feel like their Ramatra is outplaying me, right? I'm consistently forcing them backwards, right? We saw that in the first point where I pushed them backwards. I'm consistently forcing them backwards. I'm consistently forcing Nemesis when they don't want a Nemesis, and I'm forcing ulti when they don't want an ulti. So I feel good about this. Uh, I start up here and then realize, wait, what am I doing? I need to start building old charge. So I walk forwards, do the normal toss vortex and uh, spam, right? He shields right away. I thought that was interesting. All right, Anna's playing the corner. Just some spam, spam. You see the Anna keeps trying to, th she saw the grenade right for that. I should have popped through the shield a little more to the left to give me that edge. I would say, if you're gonna pop shield at the same time, try to put the shield in the way that you can get around their shield at least. So like, don't be the first one to pop shield. How about that? I think that's nice. So, I recognize right here I have an opportunity to get a lot of damage on him because he's trying to shoot the staff off. Right? I Nobody else is really shooting at me, so I really crank out the damage. You see how low he's getting right now? So I definitely win this damage trade, and then he ends up dying to Storm Arrow because he just cuts it too close. All right, playing where he was, so like the major issue where he was is like he can't get healed by the Anna. You see the angle, right? It's like tough for her to consistently be be healing him because he's going back and forth. It's not the worst, but all things considered, how much damage is coming in, it just wasn't enough. I pop this. I don't want to get slept over here. It's mostly what I was thinking. I'm gonna eat this crazy kill. So I get headshot by the Widow who comes out left door, which I do not see. Cause you see, I, you can't even see her on the screen because of the staff. And then suddenly I got headshot and the grenade hit me at the same time. I saw the grenade and I was like walking backwards already. And then that hit me and I'm like, oh wow. So I actually have, uh, I don't have shield here. I had Nemesis. So I could have popped Nemesis, but obviously I was at full health, right? I was at 450. I did not expect to suddenly die there. <laughs> it doesn't actually make a big difference though, thankfully. I'm able to run back. So I see when I come back in that the Ramatra has pushed my Hanzo out. So recognizing that I see my Hanzo like kind of carrying, I'm like, the rest of this game, I'm thinking about how to keep my Hanzo alive and make life easier for him. I shield off the Ramatra, I Vortex behind him, right? I start this Nemesis, right? I get purpled right away. Again, like that purple is huge because if I don't get purple, then I just keep punching here and do a million damage. I, this is like a lesson to all the Ana players out there. Like, nade the enemy team. <laughs> if you're the choice between nading your team or the enemy team, always nade the enemy team. It is so devastating, especially for tanks, to get naded, right? Tanks who rely on healing, a lot of healing, like Ramatra is a pretty great tank. Right? Cassie gets a kill on the Hanzo, I'm like, oh, this is kind of problematic. So, this is another great example of, hey, he tries he tries to high noon, but it's a bad spot, I have shield, I immediately go for the headshots, he immediately cancels it, because he's like, oh, this is not going any value. Right? I see the purple, finally! Right? Again, I pop another Nemesis. I see the Cassidy there. Get the kill on the Cassidy. I force sleep. Right? I want to kill the Anna, but I'm also low and purple. Again, constantly. Always purple. Right? I see she's popped it. So when I see the res, I'm like, okay, look. So I was hoping that we were just going to win this fight straight up without meaning, needing to use anything. But once I see the res go off, and I know I, I, I can't, just can't cancel this fast enough, right? Even if I interacted instantly, 
Like even if I reacted right now, I don't think I could have canceled this. So once I notice this, I'm like, oh okay, I have to, I have three seconds to go to, to Nemesis, but I feel like if I let them build any time here, we're gonna lose. So I pop ulti right away. Right? I know the end doesn't have sleep because she popped sleep on me earlier. Right, try to stay alive, right? I know the Cassie's alive somewhere who's gonna be shooting me in the back. I'm gonna run down this Ramatra. And then because he tries to live, he ends up getting staggered for about 10 seconds from everybody else, right? Eight-ish seconds. Lucky I dodged that sleep. So soldiers being pretty aggressive. I've seen my this DPS that gets picked a lot, so I don't want them to I don't want it, like a, him to eat a, like a widow headshot or something. So I shield off early, even though I didn't really want to shield that. I see the Ramatra's advanced, right? And he's low. I saw the Cassidy eat the shot, but I was already kind of committed to hitting the Ramatra. I look back for him for the second punch. You notice? I know the Ramatra's low. They pop Nano. I'm like, oh great, fantastic. <laughs> so Dragon comes in. I'm just kind of following the Ramatra back. So what I wanted to do here, I knew that he had ultimate, and so what I was trying to do is I was trying to save shield to shield off my team. But the problem is I take too much damage here, and then I think I. I get like super low here. Yeah, at this point, that's when I go for the shield because I, I'm just too low. But the my Anna ends up grenading me here, which is okay. But ultimately, she really needed that nade for herself more than she needed it for me. Um, but now I'm just trying to zone because I can't, I can't, I can't stop that a nano Ramatra, right? With ulti, this is just not gonna happen. I kind of recognize like this look, this fight's kind of over, and and then we lose first point that way. So set up for second, right? Taking high ground, playing default. Ping to make sure that they know that there's a soldier over there. It was uh, Cassidy over there, rather. Anna sleeps me because the Anna just has it out for me the whole game. Sleeps, nades, everything comes from me all the time. See, I'm just naded again. So high dude happens. I immediately shield him off, right? And I'm like, okay, she so cancels it right away. This is a good example of just like as tank, your ability to control the battlefield is excellent. Like he has a high noon. He thinks he's pocketed. He thinks he can do something. I immediately shield him off and run into his face and then just cancel it right away because he just he knows he's not gonna get any value from it. All right, we do a little a little punch trading here. Yeah, again, trying to take this early fight on cart because I want to get at least. Like, I have to defend the cart only to this point. So I, I really have to get two fights. If I get the cart even, if we die here, we probably can't contest again. So that's why I'm trying to fight as early as I possibly can, even if it's not like the greatest advantage to be fighting at this moment in time. So I see that the is chasing after my Hanzo, who's like pretty overextended. I try to slow him down, can't do anything about it. So I do know is that uh, we are up in numbers because I saw that we got we got two kills there. So I can tell that they're on the run. I still have Nemesis form. Obviously didn't actually need that shield. Right? Combination of help, we kill the Ramatra. Great. So that's another stagger, right? So that buys us another eight-ish seconds. I throw Vortex, though I don't then I see Sonic, and I'm like, okay, cool. We're gonna reset. Once again, I'm playing low ground here because I want to take a nice close quick fight. I recognize they keep trying to come through bottom. I'm just playing here. I'm just basically babysitting my Hanzo right now. So, this is a this is a huge read by me. Okay, I see the magnetic go off. Right, I shield off as soon as I can. I hear him go to the right, and the second I hear him go to the right, what do I do? I look to the right. I'm gonna throw vortex and immediately nemesis. So this is a blind vortex. I would step up immediately nemesis, and he dies faster than anyone in his team can really respond. Although the supports are actually dead anyway. So I see the Hanzo, okay, and remember, this is all about staggering, all right? I I'm not killing him because I was like, oh, I need to kill him to win the next fight. I'm killing him so that he staggers and so his team can't push without him, all right? He gets low, and I'm like, oh, he's must have gone. The Hanzo gets the kill. So again, I want to back up and highlight how in sync we are on getting these kills, okay? So remember the previous fight on the Ramatra, okay? The Hanzo goes in, right, tries to get a kill. Right? I followed the Ramatra out. You see the Hanzo? We're the only two people who are reading this correctly. Right? Everybody else should have been following this out to try to get the picks. Because they have plenty of time to rotate back and take take top if, if this doesn't work out, right? But the Hanzo and I, right? I think the Hanzo is probably GM or something. So the Hanzo and I are the only two players who recognize we should be trying to get picks right now to essentially bully the opposing team, right? And so again, that plus oh the soldier finally comes over and helps, right? 
helps kill this guy. Now, if you watch the next fight, we're going to come over, right? Cast, he goes over here. I vortex. I follow him out. Punch, punch, punch. I kill the Cassidy. That starts the, basically, you know, they already killed two, but I want to continue the stagger. I see the Hanzo up top. I, I ping, force him down, right? He's playing over there. The, Han, the Hanzo and I are both in the sink, right? Trying to get this kill. I have to, fl it's my job to flush him out. It's really hard for me to get the kill, but our Hanzo will definitely get the kill. I zap him, right? Hanzo hits the body shot. Hanzo hits the second shot. But I had to flush him out and prevent him from taking cover on this side. That was my role in this. And that's an example of just working in sync with your DPS to get those kills. And that kills now means they need to wait another 10 to 15 seconds, really more like 15 seconds, for them to come back out, right? Actually, let's play, play this out and see. When does the Hanzo end up actually coming out? Right? It's at least 15 seconds here that the Hanzo is unable to, unable to do it uh, before he's able to come back. So, the other team's gonna get impatient, right? We're, now we're talking like, you know, gold, silver level problems. Because they're staggered again, they don't seem to realize it. Right? Hanzo's gonna get away. I'm reset. I vortex to make sure he doesn't get chased down because the the uh, Rancher definitely could have chased him down with Nemesis here. I don't know that he would kill them, but he definitely could have chased him down with Nemesis. So I, I do this just to make sure my Hanzo lives. I see my soldiers overextended. I see them coming out. I can recognize and hear that there are supports on my right. So is my job to hunt down the Ramatra and the Cassidy here? It is not. My job is to kill the supports who clearly don't know that I'm here. So one, two, three. I could have killed her with a melee. I have to start thinking of that combo more. Triple sh triple punch plus melee uh, will we'll kill. So I come out here. Right, two, three. Could have killed her right there. Right, kill the, the Mercy. I want to chase down the Anna. Right, she's too far. Fine, that's all right. I'll just punch the, the Cassidy or the, the Ramatra. Great. And then the fight's reset. Again? They were taking that fight without a Hanzo, right? Why are they fighting four and five? It doesn't make any sense because they're impatient. That's why. So I recognized, I was like, wait, why is the... <laughs> that was a mistake for the Hanzo to challenge this. Like, this is actually crazy. There's no way that he could kill him in Nemesis form because he can just block. So our Hanzo makes a mistake. I shield off right away. But the thing is, at least he forces ulti for no reason. I don't really know why the, the Ramatra pops ulti here. Like, he's still in Nemesis form. It's not like that helped him. But anyway, he pops it. So he's also popped, um, he's also, Nano's popped on him. See how many Nanos this guy gets? Like, I get nothing, <laughs> right? I got one Nano that was absolutely useless <laughs> at the beginning of the game. <clears throat> and I hit every single nade in sleep. All right, so, oh yeah, I get, I get a Nano here. The problem is I don't want Nano. Like, I'm not actually in any danger of dying. <laughs> like, I don't, I literally am like totally fine here. I'm already, I have Nemesis form here, right? I'm at 361, I can block it. He doesn't do any damage to me. I did not want nano right now. And so you're gonna see, I'm gonna kind of punch him a little bit because we're both nanoed and like nothing. You see, nobody's really taking any damage, right? Now, the good news is I know, because I, I keep, whenever I keep spinning around, I keep looking to see who's here. And at this point, I've seen that the Cassidy is here and I saw that the Cassidy has like popped, uh, like fan the hammer and I see the Mercy here is here as well, which means, right? I hear the Cassidy now. And then I immediately pop ulti and I look for the Cassidy right away, punch, right? And now I'm just running them all down. So again, compare the different Ramatra ultis, right? His Ramatra ulti only, only killed the Hanzo, and frankly he would have killed him anyway, okay? And he didn't need to, and his team was down when he started that fight. My Ramatra ulti is used when I'm down one, but I'm able to turn a four on five, right, ish, uh, fight around, and I'm able to completely wipe. That's the difference, right? For the record, this Ramatra, I think, is Masters 3, so I'm over, I'm supposed to be ahead of them. I'm supposed to play better than them, right? Hidden MMR aside. So, again, coming up here, I'm just going to punch. Why? Because I just want to farm ult charge, right? At this point, I'll take it. Right? I have Vortex, just to slow him down. I recognize there's only 60 seconds left. But again, 60 seconds, more than enough time for them to pop and win. I know that they have ultimates left, because I haven't heard High New in a while, and I haven't heard Dragon in a while. So they definitely could win. And I also know that our ult situation is not good. We're still 20% from Dragon, which is a long way. So, Ramatra tries to go in. I recognize that the Ramatra's already taking damage. I'm like a little confused why he's not backing off for a second. I go up, I try to shoot him in the face. I force Nemesis, right? I Vortex away. I probably did not need a Nemesis here. I was hopeful that I would be able to get more value from this, like he would try to stick around. But, right, I ping the uh, Cassidy right for High Noon so people know where it is because it's kind of confusing why he High Noon from over there. Probably tried to kill me. 
right? I shield again. Notice that I'm trying to force this early fight because I want to make sure we have one more contest if we lose this fight, you know? Because they might win this fight with ultis, but then we come back and have another fight with ultis. But if I wait too long, that won't matter because we won't be able to contest it. Our Hanzo dies, I get pretty nervous here. So I think, okay, <laughs> I have to make a play. I saw the death, right? I saw the death right there from the Cassidy, and I saw the Mercy go. I don't have Vortex, unfortunately. So I immediately go punch, but I can't, I was like almost about to finish. The Anna does a really great job sleeping me, right? Punch, punch, right? I realized, wait, the Anna's here? Just good mechanics, killing the Anna. That was a really critical. If I miss that punch, I think we lose the game. I'm dead serious. I think we, if I miss that punch, I think we lose because that Mercy would have saved. I'm behind the, the Cassidy. I recognize that I'm not really in any danger here. I have like way too much health and I know the Cassidy is overextended. So I want to kill the Cassidy. The Ramatra is in my face. Right? So just, this is really clean. I absolutely know I have to kill this Mercy right now. Kill the Mercy. Right? Hanzo to the side. You notice that I have ulti here. I block to make sure I don't die. Right? Shield. You can tell, like, you can tell when I get more stressed, like, my mouse movements can be a lot faster. So I'm getting shot in the side, which I know about, but, like, I'm just trying to get the Ramatra off cart. So I do not want to pop ulti right now. So I think a really common mistake would be, like, oh, just pop ulti. The problem is if I pop ulti, he's just going to hold block and just stare at me. And then what? Right? I either have to leave cart to try to chase this Ana down, who probably has sleep. Right? Yeah, she has sleep and grenade. Or I have to go and chase the Hanzo down, who's his movement, so he's going to see me coming, hear me coming, start running, see me, jump around the corner, and yeah, I might kill him, but then I'll leave the cart, right, for like an incredibly long time and she's ultimate. So I do not want to pop ulti yet until I know that I can get value out of it. I pop Nemesis here to force the sleep. Great. Now I know there's no sleep. Now I start punching. I'm waiting as long as I can for Nemesis to fade. Right? Vortex. Now I pop ulti. And as soon as I pop this, I was like, I think I win the game. So, that, in my opinion, is the best Ramatra game that I have ever played in terms of minimizing mistakes, making a lot of really difficult real-time reads, dealing with a team that was probably uh, a little underperforming, <laughs> um, like, and having, like, like, the discrepancy in, for example, the Ana play was so significant. You know, if you see like how many nades I eat versus how many nades I can make use of, like you never see me punching people who are purple, right? Very rarely. It only happens like two or three times the entire game. I'm constantly getting purple. I'm constantly getting slept, right? And I'm also dealing with nanos. Uh, I get that one bad nano earlier and I get one good-ish, okay nano like later, right? Which I didn't really need, but you know, it's fine. So that kind of stuff is is I think really critical to understanding higher level play. And I'm not even talking about like GM level play where I think it, it changes a lot, but at least at upper masters, I think this is a very, very, very good game. Probably the best game that I have played to watch and really think about how to continually force those staggers, right? We had four minutes to defend the cart to go all the way over here. The way we did so was not by winning team fight after team fight after team fight. The way we did it was winning one team fight and continually staggering people like crazy. So they only ended up getting like four team fights instead of if they grouped up as five and we didn't get those staggers, they probably would have gotten eight plus team fights. You know, it's really hard to go oh, like like eight for eight as a, on, as a defense. But if you can stagger people to the point that they get fewer attempts, then you can pull it off. Okay, I will stop there. Hopefully this is helpful.